It's a scary sight. Flames out of control engulfing a chemical complex. But someone's got to put them out. We have gases and we have liquids that we have to deal with on a regular basis, and we have to know how to, how to fight those fires. Will Straub is a guest instructor at Teeks. His specialty, teaching industrial firefighting tactics. This is a typical type of process unit that might exist in any uh, refinery or chemical plant. This week, students work for companies like Exxon and Valero, here to learn how to be a part of the emergency response team at their jobs. Most of the jobs that these personnel do are not firefighting. Instead, many are operators or maintenance workers adding firefighter to their resume. A bunch of first timers in this group, including myself. To look the part and stay safe while battling this blaze, I had to suit up. First, a thermal hood. Really tight. Then a helmet, boots, and pants held up by some sassy suspenders. Add a jacket and gloves, and I was ready to go. About 30 pounds heavier and hot, but ready. We have a structure of personnel, so we hand out assignments. My assignment from Straub, help hold the hose. And after about 25 minutes that felt like five, the calm after the blaze and a first firefighting experience under my bunker gear belt. I think you did an excellent job and uh, you were on that hose line and you were troopers there, you stayed there. While hopefully I'll never have to stay near those flames, the students who will, will know how to put them out. Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News.